With the release of iOS 8, iPhone and iPad owners now have the ability to swap out Apple's stock keyboard for a custom one. Third-party keyboards can be downloaded in the App Store. Once the keyboard app has been installed on your device, you'll need to take a couple extra steps to actually set it up. Just like any other app, keyboards will be installed with an app icon on your home screen. On most keyboards, this is where you'll find personalization settings and other options for the keyboard itself. To activate the keyboard, head to Settings, click on General, select Keyboard, followed by Add New Keyboard. You will notice a new section for third-party keyboards that lists all of the keyboard apps you already have downloaded on your device. All you have to do now is tap on the name of the keyboard you'd like to activate and click Done. To switch between keyboards, tap on the globe icon on the keyboard when entering text. This will cycle through all of the enabled keyboards you have on your device. To set your third-party keyboard as the default, go back to the keyboard settings, tap Edit, then drag your favorite keyboard to the top. Any keyboard, including the default iOS keyboard, can be removed by swiping to the left. For more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out howto.cnet.com. You can also reach out to me on Twitter with any questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.